Hi, I'm Dr. Bertice Berry and I want to tell you a story. My daughter Fatima has been into Egyptology since she was a young child. I was hoping that I was going to get an anthropologist, archaeologist, some kind of ologist. No. Anyway, she has always been into Egyptology from that time. She came home one day, and I'm going to tell you now, if you're eating or drinking, put it down for a second. She came home one day, and while we were at dinner, she decided to tell me about mummification. And, and you know, I really tried to listen to my children, but she was like, and did you know that they didn't believe that the brain was important? So they would stick this rod up your nose and shake the brain and then pull it down through your nose. And so they could get rid of it. They didn't like, save the brain because they didn't think the brain was important at all. They didn't think that at all. But the heart was very important and they kept it in a canoptic jar. <laughs> it was like, Fatima, you can't tell these stories at dinner. She was looking at me like, why? Anyway. Um, I find it fascinating that the, the belief of the scientists and the, the priest and, and those who were in the know at that time believed that knowledge was stored in the heart. Um, now I don't believe that the brain has nothing, no power. It has, it is all powerful. It is too powerful because we don't even know the difference between what is real and what is imagined. The brain can't tell your body that your belief that something is fearful is not real and your body will respond as if it is anyway. The heart knows. The heart knows that love is the way, that love cast out all fear. The heart knows. They kept those hearts in jars for a reason, for a journey to the other side. They said, we ain't gonna need this brain, but that heart. We need that. I wish we could all begin to live a little bit more in our heart. Your brain is a powerful processing machine, but it's what you put in it. It's what you put in it. Guy go, garbage in, garbage out, just like a computer. And sometimes we are acting as if we know more than we really do. The brain only knows what we tell it, what we show it, what we expose it to. Your heart remembers. So far back. I hope I'm making some sense. I love you.